Hey church, welcome to part three in our devotions. It is Wednesday, the 28th of December, and we are talking about my best life or your best life now. And on this day three of this devotion, I want us to focus our attention on this whole idea that our best life requires a recognition of source. Now, John 10.10 10 says this, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, but Jesus come that we might have life and life to the full. And I think in this passage, we see that both God and the devil have one job. The devil's one job is to steal, kill, and destroy. But God's job, Jesus' job, is to bring life and life to the full. In other words, this is a sense of understanding that the life to the full that Jesus gives is not to do with job, uh, geography, or necessarily even purpose-centric. It's Christocentric. It's about Christ. Jesus is the key to life, not the qualifications, job, and employer. He, Christ, is the, the key to life. He is the source of life. One preacher once famously put it this way. If you take the Christ out of Christian, you're left with Ian. Now, Ian's a nice guy, but he didn't die on the cross to save you. And we do have that sense, don't we, that this is all about Christ. So let me give you three thoughts on Jesus right now in terms of thinking about him as a source of life. It's found in Luke chapter 19, verse 7, which says, Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. And this is a whole lot about Jesus. And let me give you a few quick thoughts. Firstly, it says, is Jesus is not what the world thinks. The world has a view of Jesus that is, is just not true, not even accurate. Jesus was radical in so many ways. Uh, the first miracle he did was turning water into wine. He he went into the temple and he caused a, a righteous ruckus. He, he you know, fed 5,000 men plus women and children with what I like to jokingly call fish fingers. Bread and fish, you put it together, you get fish fingers. I mean, Jesus is not what you think. It's not what the world thinks. There's something radical about Jesus. Many people think that he's a, a God of rules and regulations, but Jesus came to prove that God is not first and foremost rules and regulations. He's relationship. He's love. And he came to earth 2,000 years ago to show his love and to show his commitment of relationship to us. A second thought about Jesus is this, is that Jesus is your friend. He's my friend. He's God, yes, but he's our friend. The Bible says, we read it a moment ago in Luke 19, that he's gone to be a guest of sinners. And you know something in a world that is increasingly more and more lonely with more and more people diving into the internet and just having digital relationships only. And even in crowds, you can feel lonely. Remember, Jesus is your friend. My best mate growing up in Australia, we did everything together. And I often reflect and think everybody needs a friend just like that. And of course, the Bible says that you and I have a friend in Jesus who sticks closer than a brother. So Jesus is your friend. And the third thing I want to share with you about Jesus is this, is this whole idea that in Jesus, there is adventure. That sense where our lives should be full of advent, of faith, of adventure. The advent calendar, the Christmas adventure is an amazing, amazing story. And there's just something about life with God that, that makes life even more adventurous than ever before. Where Life without God is about trying to make sense of everything, but life with God is about having a whole dimension of mystery. And what a wonderful thing that is. We read our Bible and we see adventure everywhere. God spoke to Noah to say, build a boat. And Noah had never built a boat nor seen rain before, and yet he built a boat. Joshua had to um, you know, walk around the walls of Jericho to see the walls come down. Peter walked on water. Philip was instantly transported by God. I think it's so important for us to remember that with Jesus, there is great adventure. Remember today that your best life requires a recognition of source and the source of life truly is Jesus. Amen. Have a great day. Enjoy this season and look forward to catching up with you soon. Much love. Everyone.